What's up? You, you can record outside all you want to, but you can't record inside the space, man. That's not what this says right yeah, here. 41 CFR. No, no, no. This is the post office. I'm not in your building. I'm at the post office. But it's a federal building. No, it says it right here. It has a, it has a section for photographs. Photographs for news purposes, which I'm engaged in right now, okay? He didn't give me a chance to explain it. He's calling you. Okay. So, yes, on your building over there? Yes. This over, is all federal property. This is the post office. This is approved by the postmaster. You're not going to trample on my rights. I'm not interfering with anything here. I wasn't even speaking to anybody. I'm working on a news story, and I have permission to do this. I have done this hundreds of times. This is not the first time. I know about the law that you're talking about that applies right next door no. not here this is the post office it applies to every federal building no it does not yes, no it does not there's a section so are you going to are you going to ignore are you going to ignore this no listen i'm asking you are you going to ignore this because i'm standing by the rules right here poster seven rules and regulations about photographs it says that i'm allowed and you're willing because of your ego you're willing to trample on my rights right and ignore the rules which are right here. You're not even postal police. Yes, postal police. I know you don't, I know you don't, but you're not even the proper guy to be here. Yes, I am. No, the, the postal police is supposed to be here. Now, look, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, brother. We have the, I have the right to be here. I'm sure you, you know you this. You have the right to be here. So, and photograph. You do not have the right to photograph. It says it right here. We have freedom of the press. You took an oath. Uh -huh. Do you know what pop, do you know about paparazzi? Yeah, Oh my God, you're asking me about press credentials, yeah. brother. You said your press. We have freedom of the press. The it's people our, are the real press here. I'm not here to, do, to, to, this, to, you know, to argue with you, but you need to understand that this is the rules from this spot right here. Okay. So you don't tell me what to do, first of all. Go by the rules. Call your supervisor, please, respectfully. If you're willing, before you're willing to make a, a, the wrong decision, you know what I'm saying? So yes, you are. I, I, I what about the guys, what about the what the about time. the rules? I do with you guys so all the look time. at the rules. Do you know that if I go to jail, if you trample on my rights and I, and you take me to jail, right? And I'm clearly proving right here that the postal the postmaster approve video recording in lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums with permission. No, permission, it's on, on other pictures may be taken with permission of the, of, of the supervisor, other, such as in restricted areas. As long as I'm in a public place, it's in black and white, right here, you can't really tell me what to do, brother, right. respectfully. So the, the, the difference is, is there's no they, difference, they occupy, there's, there's no difference, this whole area. there's no difference. This is the post office, this is the rules right here. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't want me filming, tough, tough luck. That's not, he doesn't have that, that privilege. He works in a public building. You guys, the same way that you guys are filming us with cameras, it goes both ways. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just standing up for my rights and the rules, which are right here, brother. We oversee every federal facility that is owned or leased by GSA. Good. This is owned and leased by GSA. Good. You're making sure that people don't break the law. You're not here to make sure that people don't exercise freedom of the press, which we have the right to. Do you know about paparazzis? Mm -hmm. People hate them. There's not a there's not a, a license to be a paparazzi. There's not a, no I don't need uh, press credentials because we have the right to film. That's what the First Amendment is about. You took an oath to this. You're a federal agent. You're federal police, brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the rules right here. I'm gonna read them again for you. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums. Even the auditorium, if it's used for public meetings. If it's if the auditorium is used for public meetings, so I can't just go into an auditorium. But I, I, don't care if it's I, ha I have the, I have uh, you don't. I know they do that, bro. Listen, brother. That's a that's a very that's a very particular mustache that you have there, brother. Yeah. But I have to tell you, you need to focus more on the rules and our rights. Yes, you take you know you 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 take care of your mustache real good. So we just need you to. Read this, brother. How you doing, brother? Okay, so, brother, nice guy. You're you're lucky to have this guy as a as a superior, and so am I. <laughs> so am I because I uh, we met we met not long ago. So look, I went into a federal building, right? And we have what is called what public area and restricted area. I'm in a public area of the post office. I have the right to be here. Not only I have the right, but the rules from the post office, which is right here, 
Now, these are, the, are different rules from, from DHS. I know DHS has laws and stuff that says that I can't film plastic. You know, we've been through this. So, but the post office has the rules and regulations governing conduct on public postal service property. We have a specific section for photographs. We have the right to be here as long as I don't interfere. In the lobby, foyers and corridors. Correct. Right, that's not a lobby or <laughs> No, what is that? What's, that's, 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 that's the lobby of the post office, brother. Right, office you see, your ego, your ego won't let you admit that God, you see, God does things for a reason. And this guy uh, is a God person, okay? God does things for a reason. You would have taken me to jail if you had, if, if, what was your name? I forgot. Commander Carrillo. Carrillo, Commander Carrillo. Bro, and I can, and, and because of my experience in your body language, you had me cornered up right here. Although I wanted to be by the, I know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be by the rules so that when people, you know, like yourself, don't want to be rude, but come and tell me otherwise and, and start threatening me with unlawful orders. We don't take orders from you unless we've broken the law. Mm -hmm. Now, there's secure areas. Yes, you have to secure that. Make sure that that's safe. The post office, they have postal police. Yes, you have you you have more than uh, jurisdiction to be here. You absolutely do. And and probably I don't know if the same or more than the postal police. But you, how long have you been a police officer and, and don't know that we the people, even after you said you've dealt with people doing these videos so many times, how don't you know that it's absolutely legal, brother? This is like elementary stuff. And you're a police officer, bro. You look how many clips you got right there. One, two, three. You got a taser, a gun, a whole bunch of other pockets. You got a knife, pepper spray, German shepherds. We just have a camera, dog, and you're coming over here with all this gear. Threat the average citizen will feel threatened, bro. They're not gonna want to exercise their right. Yes, you're. Yes, no, of course it's sad if you're telling, giving them unlawful orders. I'm not here to, you know, bother you or anybody in any way. Can 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 we go back and be mad about it and said that you know you were wrong? I'm not. Oh, so I'm breaking the law. Okay, yes. take me, take me to jail. Yeah, it's, it's, take it's me, not, take not, me to jail. You know, let me just explain something to you. I could cite you. But, yeah. but sir, but sir, but let me just hit this one. Yeah. See, the key thing that we've explained this to you, the tenant. Which yes. Is, well, yeah, they're saying they're saying right here that I have the right to. No, 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 let me finish. Them. That's the tenant right here. Okay. They, they, this guy is not. Is, this guy doesn't make the rules. He's just an employee. He also has to follow them. Right. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the the guy that made the complaint. But let me, but That's not nice. You want to, you want to, I gave you the right. I gave you the right to go ahead and speak now. Give me the right. Give me that opportunity because that's the kind of relationship we have. You know, like we talked about. Absolutely, before, absolutely. We follow the golden rule. We treat each other the way we want to be treated. Absolutely, I remember so, the golden rule. Yes, sir. So one of the key things is that this tenant, once they have these doors, if they, but let me just finish though. These, this tenant here, the postal service, they're, they're telling you here that they don't want to have any because they've got to give you something in writing. They got to give you. They this don't. Is this is. They, 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 and, they, and they already have. Right. It's, it's poster seven. It's right here on the wall. It's in writing. So just because he doesn't want to be filmed and you were about to arrest me for video recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got arrested and released for, for recording inside of a federal facility. This is the post office. I have the, office. I have the right to do it. It, the, yes, it, and, and who finances the federal and, facility? And, the and people. It says, it says it says I am. It said I do. I do. It's poster seven. It's in the writing right here. Did you know that if we take this to court, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna look real bad, brother? We can find out. Why would you want to take it that far when the rules are right here? It says. If you want to take it to court, we can find out. Dealt with you guys. Yeah, you want to arrest me? We've dealt with you guys many times before. Look, look, I'm not dealing with you. You're dangerous. You're a dangerous person. You're welcome to you know come in public areas, foyers, public lobbies. However, once you go into their lease space, you have to have a written consent. We do. It's right. We, we do. It's right here. It's so, poster seven. Look, rules and regulations, brother. Okay. And the only place where I can't film is where it's posted, where it says you can't film. So hold on a second, okay? Can yeah. you just speak to the manager? No problem. Hold on a second. You're, you're just a tyrant. Okay. You're a tyrant. You you're a tyrant. Okay. We're I, not I, I, I bet, I bet you don't. Talking. I bet. No, we're not. We're done whenever I say we're done. Okay. So, can you tell us what the Third Amendment is? I bet I'm you don't done. even know that. I'm done. I bet you don't even know I'm that. I'm not talking to you. 
on my own account. What a shame. What a, what a shame. Yep, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame yeah. that you took an oath to protect our rights yeah. and you just wipe your butt with What's them. What's sad is that you don't know what This guy doing. has nothing better to do than to uh, trample on the Constitution. Okay. He decides to work for federal police and then tramples on our rights, left and right, doesn't know about the Third Amendment, doesn't know that about the First Amendment, freedom of the press, and you still don't know the basics of your job, which is the to uphold the Bill of Rights. I know the basics of my job. But it's I'm freedom of the. You said you said I was wrong. You said that I need press credentials. You know how funny that is. Do you know how funny that is? That you don't know this. That's embarrassing. You're highly suspicious. Your behavior is highly suspicious. Cool. How am I supposed to trust you? You're supposed to be a federal cop. I'm supposed to feel safe with you, and you don't know anything about our freaking rights. Hold on a second, No problem. A few minutes later. So we're, we're good, right? So this is the key. Okay. So one of the most important things that the postal inspector uh, did say is that past these doors here. I'll do it, man. Call the FBI. I will. Okay. I will. Enjoy your walk of shame. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Please check out the Auditing America channel via the links in the description and also the full original video.